Inside a home in Richmond, fully decorated for Halloween, the first thing you notice about Maricia Sauer, everybody calls me Risa, is that she is not well. I have COPD, lightus mutation, factor five. But her Halloween shirt also tells you this is a woman clinging to life and to a sense of humor. I'm, I'm good, I'm alive. I mean, every day I wake up, that's a good thing. She's been told by doctors that congestive heart failure will take her soon, a death sentence, but a sentence she's not facing alone. And just trying to struggle through it. Her husband Johnny is by her side, and so is a list. Slow dance with Johnny again. A handwritten bucket list. If you read the list, there's nothing grandiose on the list. A list devoted mostly to reconciling with God and with her family and friends. But then there's item number six, dinner from Red Lobster. The restaurant delivered it in person. A simple request with a not so simple meaning. The first time he told me I love you, he took me to Red Lobster. So I just wanted to try and recapture that. And we did. It, it was nice. Mauricia got that at-home dinner with the help of Silverado Hospice, the agency providing her in-home care. But the biggest item on the list would be a much taller order, the fancy church wedding she never had. And I'm going to live to do it, too. And uh, that's what was meaningful to her. And when we hear that, it's like, let me find a way to make that happen. And it will happen at the Co-Cathedral of the Sacred Heart. Special meaning for a Catholic whose own heart is failing her. He's going to be teary-eyed. I'm going to be teary-eyed. I can go to my grave knowing it was a real marriage, not just the JP. Silverado Hospice suggests to their patients that they make a bucket list to have something to live for, to drain every minute out of every day. If you can still move about, do it. Because if you don't, it's just a day you've missed, a regret that's going to be on your list. And I don't want regrets on my list. A dying woman's last wish and worthy advice for the rest of us, too. In Richmond, Kevin Reese, KHOU, 11 News. This is my Halloween costume. At Halloween, we met a woman in Richmond, a woman dying. Everybody calls me Risa. Maricia Sauer has a fatal heart well, condition. We She's been told she has years. months, not years. But I'm alive. I mean, every day I wake up, that's a good thing. And in these final days, she made a bucket list. Slow dance with Johnny again. A handwritten list of the last moment she and her husband Johnny hoped to share, including the big church wedding they never had. And I'm going to live to do it, too. Saturday, she did live to see it. May your blessings be upon them eternally. The Co-Cathedral of the Sacred Heart, the biggest Catholic sanctuary in Houston. Will you love, honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? Yes, we will. Yes, we will. When people heard Mauricia's story, they helped this last dream come true. A hairdresser, a florist, a photographer, all donated their time. Hi, John. Take you, Mauricia. Take you, Mauricia. To be my wife. To be my wife. Silverado Hospice made the rest of the arrangements. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. So that a woman in failing health could live her dreams at least one more day. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Everything I've been waiting on. And I'm just happy it's here. You may kiss the bride. I love you. I love you. When we first met Mauricia, her advice to the rest of us was to never waste a minute. Live every day like it is your last. Oh, it's phenomenal. That's my bucket list. It's great. And that's the last lesson she left us as she walked down the aisle. Her pastor told her love is eternal, but walk with purpose, knowing our time in life's aisle is not. Kevin Reese, KHOU, 11 News.